hi guys so in last video we completed this url generation okay now in this class we will be creating this properties file okay inside this properties file we can provide what and all data uh that will be having different different values based on different different environment okay so those variables we will be defining over for example base url will keep on changing if we'll run our api 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 application our application or our automation in uh, azure microsoft azure then it will be different in ibm then this will be different different then in aws amazon web services okay so there it will be different so likewise so so we can we, we can define uh, some uh, generic variables over here so so that no need to go inside the code and change anything okay so like this is what the base url base url we will be uh, base url one will define and this is what the only thing we will be using in our application others will not use others we are not going to use because we don't have uh, such things like see where username and password comes okay let me tell you see here see in postman see whenever your application is having some authentication it is required okay okay and then you can uh, provide username and password suppose base, basic auth your application is uh, supporting okay so these things developer will tell you so this this what the authentication you can use okay so in in that basic auth you need to provide username and password and this username and password will be different for different different environments okay and different different users also so in that case you can define these properties also inside your uh, properties one okay but for us currently we have only this base url that's what i am defining one base url over there okay let me put it to no other over here okay let's go to here and uh just hold on for a second yeah so uh let's go to this diagram and see see this this properties well what we will be doing now we'll create one resource folder where we will be passing these variables right our stage data where we will be passing same place we will be keeping our properties file also okay so now let's go to our project yeah yeah just right click over here click on new create one folder okay and give the name as resources okay so resources folder has got created now right click this resources folder and create create one file and what is that file config dot properties okay this this config you can give any name okay just um, so i'm giving this configuration because the configuration will be there that's what i this to to have it is more readable more understanding will be good so that's what uh, we have given like uh, config dot properties okay let's click on finish and what is what is your what and all variables you need inside your application so here when we will go to our url generator class so this is what the base url we are expecting right so this base url we are expecting it should come from the properties file so we can give this one just equal to and what value we can give this is what our base url is okay that's it this is what you have to do yeah this is what the we have created properties for in next video i have explained very nicely where and all you can use uh, this properties file what and all values and how to read those values so do watch next video to see the details about reading it reading the properties file okay so that's it for this video guys thank you bye bye